So it's the 1970s. Bell bottoms and sideburns are happening. The Godfather, Star Wars, and Rocky dominate the box office. Zeppelin and the Stones are doing their best to fend off leisure suits in the disco scene. The U.S. is trying to wrap up the Vietnam War. President Nixon forgoes impeachment and resigns in the wake of Watergate. Meanwhile, in smoggy Pittsburgh, well, kind of Pittsburgh, 30 miles east in blue-collar Jeanette, factories belch, gambling flourishes, and scandal brews. City officials are on trial in federal court for conspiracy to facilitate a gambling ring. The chief witness for the prosecution? Big Al Abraham. At 400 plus pounds, Jeanette's most recognizable bookie, or as I like to call him, Dad. While on the stand, Big Al identified our family business as general merchandising and gambling. He left out a lot. Although my sister and I were involved in the family businesses from an early age, we were unaware of the criminality of our lives. Scandal made it clear that we were different from other families. Between running numbers, delivering payouts on our big wheels, and late night transactions in the underbelly of Pittsburgh, there was never a dull moment or a shortage of shady characters. Police raids were common in our home, as were violent domestic disputes. There was no sense of normalcy in the Abraham family, but we loved each other in our own fighting way. I think it was Mark Twain who said real life is stranger than fiction, or something to that effect. Strange was all I knew. That's me, Heather Abraham, with my dad, Big Al. This is my new book, Disorganized Crimes, where I dish anew about my dysfunctional criminal family. You can find it in my previous memoir, The Bookie's Daughter, on Amazon.